What's going on, good people? It is the Bad Wolf. Once again, we are here to bring you your freedoms, rights, and liberties, liberties, liberties. Madman himself. Oh, well, I'm on vacation today, but I am still answering a couple of emails here and there. So don't take that as an initiative that I should just, I'm sitting around e answering emails all day. Um, I try to get to them when I can get to them, because uh, believe it or not, I still get a lot of emails. And although I only answer one or two here and there, maybe for free, do not be mad if I don't answer yours. Uh, I still answer the paid ones through BlackSite32 or jamesclovett.com or badwolfunincorporated.com. I'll take to the same site. With that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching uh, this particular video. So I'm going to make this one for the service people, federal citizens, employees of the GOV and state, because they keep asking me privately. Uh, can I do that too? <laughs> Uh, some of it, yes, and some of it, no. So I'm going to answer an email, but I'm not going to give you the person's name because I do keep everybody's things in confidence. And uh, But with that being said, let me get to the email and I'll read it. Okay, let me uh, make sure, okay, you guys can't see this part. Um, and I've done this for police officers and various other fraternities, orders, and individual agents of the uh, public side, we'll just say. Uh, like I said, I don't discriminate. I don't care who comes to me as long as you're not a dick uh, or a troll. Um, if you are, then uh, there's nothing here for you. But uh, so this person goes, good morning, James. My name is, and I was born in California, current resident of, and I'm an, my employer is, we'll just say it's, in the army, okay? I'll give you that. I'm not gonna tell you their clearance or dates or whatever else, that's all private. But uh, this person goes, for educational uh, purposes, are you aware of any federal civilians who have successfully removed themselves from the matrix and have not been terminated or prosecuted in the process? Maybe dual citizenship, gives me some additional information, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm going to respond back. Okay, let me get to everything set up. All right. Oh, almost there. Sorry, one minute. Okay, now we're good. All right. So when it comes to this, I tell him all people who have utilized my info have been fine. See, you were born as a private citizen, comma, state citizen and a national of the United States and a U.S. national. Those are all the same thing. So first of all, no, you're not going to get into any trouble with any of this unless you're making outlandish claims or you go to your boss and you tell him what you're doing privately. Like, hey, I'm you know, because then he might feel a certain way about it. But see, here's the thing. He probably knows about this, too. These higher ups know exactly what's going on. I mean, I've seen it on TV. They they're not most of them aren't hiding it. They just don't have the authority to speak on it unless they're challenged. But they're not for damn sure not going to go around telling fellow police officers or whatever else. I mean, think about it when they asked you, you know, are you a U.S. citizen to to do these things? You know, and they sometimes they even said, you know, you guys need to prove residency or do you have anything to prove that you are, you know, uh, a part of, you know, America or, or whatever else. They were telling you you're coming from something and you're going to something. But see, legally under 8 U.S.C. 1101-22, you are both. Now, we know that we are born as state citizens and nationals, but by law, 
we have the ability to claim ourselves as a U.S. citizen, which is usually depicted as a living or non-living entity, and if living, born in the District of Columbia. As a legal person, you're all caps named, the non-living either created in the District of Columbia or anywhere in one of the territories or the zip codes, meaning a public, uh, you know, like the IRS website, they're creating legal persons, the state of whatever. They give you the birth certificate, it's a legal person. They didn't birth you. You had everything that they do came from the private. You came from the private. Unless you are a, I don't know if I should really even say this, but unless you are a government created clone in one of their facilities, the rest of us have rights. We were born privately, but any clone created or entity created by them, you are their property. You are their property. The rest of us are not their property. As a matter of fact, the rest of us in the private are their bosses. When you operate correctly, every public official is underneath your jurisdiction. All of them. They are a they're working for the US corporation, which is in bed with and allowed to be in place by the United States of America, sanctioned by Congress, all that good jazz. It's all in the writings. If you want to really find out what's going on, look at some of the executive orders and and uh, read some of the case law on this by the Supreme Court and the federal court. They know what's going on. They just aren't going to tell you. They they work on the on the public side. They can't tell you about the private, but yet they all themselves go knock on one of their doors at two o'clock in the morning and see what they say. Oh, this is my private house. I'm in private capacity. I'm pro Yeah. You just never looked at it, okay? So, uh, once again, he said, do you know anybody who's been terminated? So, no. No one I know has ever been terminated because they want you to work for them. However, this is your private business. So, as long as you conduct certain things accordingly and you don't mix the public and the private, if you don't go skipping through their lobby in front of all the other you know, uh, you know, army people, rangers, marines, and whatever. I'm a private person. Here's what I can do. They don't care because then you're interfering with their 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 business of making more people into their jurisdiction. You're, you're they're members. You're a member. They don't want you telling members how to not be a member, or because this is all considered private. So you have to do things privately. You don't wave it in their face and do all the crazy stuff. You just you operate privately. This is what the wealthy people do. This is what the People in the higher fraternities and orders out there do. They move privately. We're the only ones who've been brought in there on mass, massive loads, and we were never supposed to be. The, what, the public side was only for public officers, military, police, judges, uh, postal workers, uh, anybody who services the public in general. If people have a general access to you, and it's an agency that's getting money from the government or, or operating on their behalf or they're protected by the government as, as a government, you know, uh, contract or whatever else. And some of those don't even actually apply. But in general, truly public offices. OK. Um, yeah. So you can find this information to validate what I'm saying in um, Foreign Affairs Manual. 505.2 under code 09 of passport endorsements and uh, GPO styles manual section 5.23 under nationalities. Um, okay, so number two, as long as I'm paid by, I assume that a passport revocation of election will not be possible until after I retire. No, well, uh, no, that's 
not true. You have these abilities right now, but you've never used them. Okay, so basically what he's saying is, can I do a revocation of election? Well, sure, but a revocation of election um, for being in the, say, okay, but let me add that too, but being in the mill, military, no, you cannot do that at this point. However, if you have another regular job, yes, there you can. Um, this is a private note, so hold on one second. Just telling him if he wants deeper information on potential avenues he can use that are all considered to be. The IRS refers to it if you don't pay and no reason to be tax evasion. If you know principles to avoid taxes properly, then that's tax avoidance. And that comes right from the IRS website. So I'm telling him if he wants any additional information on tax avoidance, we can do a consultation. Because we do now have something for police officers, um, lawyers, even judges, sheriffs, um, military people. Um, we 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 found another freedom that wasn't available to our knowledge before. So it is available. And obviously I wouldn't say this if I was against all of those people. No, I was trying to be one of them and they didn't want me at the time because I told them I smoked weed. I probably didn't smell the same. Oh, back in the day. I'm just kidding. I still smoke every once in a while, you know, where it's legal. Um, so uh, what else do you say? So that's the revocation. Uh the passport in be done at any time. Okay. That. Okay. Third question. Educational information only. I like how he puts that in there. He knows me. Um, if I cannot apply for a new passport yet, what are some steps that I could, that I should accomplish between now and um, that won't get him into any trouble? I have a certificate of live birth from, but I feel there may be some things I can do now without red flags like voter registration. Um, you, you can uh revocate voters and that's just a right nothing else will be affected for the most part however um this is not edu this is not legal advice or anything like that however you may possibly not get bothered by jury duty. Some people have told me that after they got rid of their voters registration, educational information only, um, that they no longer uh, were bothered by that. I don't know if it was just those people. I was not making any claims here. I'm just saying what has come my way. Um, as far as other steps, there are lots, but you can do none of them or a few or all. Totally 
your choice as far as how much and what you want private. That means like bank accounts or your house or whatever else. As long as he doesn't go to, let me write this, I guess. As long as you do not go to your employer and make private claims um, or act different while on duty. You just do your job. As long as you are doing your job, you and when you are there, you are in fact a U.S. citizen and you are property of said, and that's it. What you do on your private side is your private business. You had to be private to be brought into their jurisdiction or born in their area as their property. Normal Americans are not their property. We're not anybody's property. Pineapple. Mm. It's good for your gonads. But man, it always makes my face tense up. It's a bromelain in there that's good for your couple of the balls. Couple of the balls. Don't forget the balls. All right. So I so said, would an educational consult benefit me more now or perhaps in a few months? Thank you for your time and all of your efforts you put into Educate Humanity. Um, I mean, I never tell anybody you have to do a consult, um, though I enjoy them. I mean, they do take up a lot of my time. Um, but if you ask, I will keep doing this as long as I do this until I decide to retire. And unless they offer me a couple million dollars, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. But I will say this. I did have, I won't name the company, um, an owner of a company, very, 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 very wealthy, offered me a million dollars to shut all this down and to work for him. I told him no. I said, I'm going to need three to five. You want me to retire? Three to five money, a million right now. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, no, nah, don't waste my time. Move away, Sean, you bother me. I'm doing business here. Um, so once again, totally up to you. Um, watch the videos more on my main YouTube page. There's a top 100, but this goes out to you guys. But if you scroll down to the bottom and click more or continue, it'll show you all 1100. But for some reason, YouTube doesn't like to show people all my videos. I don't know why. And then there's also the, the company or agency or whoever, somebody with pull, who watches my videos but then likes to put the S citizen word down below underneath there, sponsored by Wikipedia, you know. So cute. So cute, you guys. It's funny because whoever's doing that doesn't seem to understand that they themselves are operating as traitors. Because if I'm talking about the Constitution, rights, liberties, and freedoms for private people, which is a thing in the United States of America, and you're not, then you're a traitor to this country. So keep doing what you're doing, traitor. Traders keep trying to suppress information. See, the bell has been rung. Okay. The time to have suppressed this information would have been 14 or 15 years ago. Because now that the bell's been rung, this is not going back into the box. It's not it, it's not even about me anymore at this point in time. There's other there's too many people. Millions of people have now started to wake up and are learning about this information and then are getting remedy. So if you don't know which way the tide is flowing, trader, that's on you. Um, but then again, you know, I mean, we as Americans and patriots, we are against anybody who's a threat, foreign or domestic. And so uh, 
you can't put ads underneath everybody's videos out there if you don't have the budget. And even if you do, there are Telegram groups, YouTube groups, Facebook groups. So it's cute that you guys want to look at me. It's nothing new. You guys have been doing it since I was 19. But I get it. I think it's part of the game. I enjoy it. It's cute. But it's no matter what, it's out there. All of it's out there. And people have the right to it. And before bothering me, you should really read the Constitution, Declaration, and the Bill of Rights. And learn about jurisdiction and what's really going on. See, when I've read some of their things about how they look at people who talk the way I talk and whatever else, oh, loose cannon people on fringe laws. And... But see, you're not backing it up by showing the codes and things that I show. That's one of the differences between me and, and my channel and certain other groups and people out there. I'm showing you where the laws and codes are in their books, in the government's books, in the state's books and laws. So it's not fringe. And the thing is, is that I understand law on a legal level. Most people don't. What I do, there's less than 99.999% of people who understand this information. And you are, and these people are not the legal department. So it can, and here's the thing, here's another thing that the Supreme Court ruled on. Your interpretation of the law, if you can make a daisy chain of why this looks like it is something, then it is in fact it. The law is open and subject to your interpretation. That's it. And there is a private side. They cannot judge and rule and control the private. The private still has to abide by common rules and laws, okay, common sense things. You don't get to just speed or do donuts on a military base or, you know, uh, slap, a you know, an officer or something. No. Because none of those things make sense to do. And these are things you wouldn't want done to use. So that's common sense, common law. So it's funny that the people who do attack me or try to bother me or whatever else or put a fringe on this have not read the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights. Google search is a Supreme uh, Court or the Constitution, the Supreme Law of the Land of the United States of America. You tell me before placing more stupid ads under my videos and whatever else, and putting a thumbs down on my video, you tell me what those things say before bothering me. And see, the thing is that these people want to send like a little anonymous emails and do things like that under my videos. Be a man. Make your little YouTube site so then I can comment back or I can be on your show. I'm just saying, because that's the American thing to do. What did the Joker say in Batman, uh, the first Batman? Here's my here's my straw man, right? I've taken off my mask. Let's see you take off yours. I'm just saying. So he finishes off by saying, thank you for your time and all the effort you put into educate humanity. Thank you, good brother, for being a patriot. Good soul and fellow man. Okay. Okay. Oof. All right. Send. So that's it, guys. I just want to this. So this goes out to all those people out there in the various agencies who, you know, want to know if there's remedy. Yeah. Yeah. You already are a private person. You were born with it. You don't believe me? Okay. Then my challenge to you is to look up GPO style manual, which means style means what does this mean on a legal level? Intrinsically, what does it mean? See, I would be somebody who would be able to work in a legal department and every company out there either has or ought to have a legal department because there are some things 
on a legal level you do not understand. I've been doing this for 40 years, privately. I only came out to do this within, what, last 10 years or whatever else. So people kept asking for a remedy. So there's a market there. So, But if you don't believe it or like it, why are you bothering me? I'm not rallying people in some group. I'm not making statements against the, the GOV or any political party or any of that. I'm not a political member. Neutral, non-belligerent, non-combat. So you just don't like how I, I speak. But I haven't said anything negative or anything that's going to get people in trouble because I'm literally using their files. I could see if I was making my own files and say, here, use this to get out of taxes. I'm not. I'm literally using their stuff. Literally using their laws and codes. Their definitions of these things. Take the states, okay? Their definition is either you're a, a non-resident or you're a resident, right? Period. You, cops can bother U.S. citizens, not non-residents. Okay? Well, if that's the case, then they ask you to prove residency, right? Everybody's had that question asked. Prove residency when you get a bank account or a driver's license or whatever else. So if you were a, if you had to prove residency and they just didn't allow you with your name right there in front of you to go and your address and stuff, then that means before that moment in time, they considered you to be a non-resident or non-member of theirs, a re non resident meaning you didn't leave what? The constitution, you had the private. Under GPO Styles Manual, section 5.23, under the word and term nationalities, it says... Uh, in identifying the natives of the several states, natives means Native American, organic, real, living, de jure, of the several states means America in the continental and geographical sense or util utilization of the word, because there's two United States, the corporation and the ground. The, corp the corporation has the gold fringe flag. The ground has the unfringed flag. And it's always on a flagpole mounted outside or somewhere immovable or unmovable. The inside one is always inside on something movable. Army regulations, AR 840-10, use of the gold fringe flag. Come on. Mm. But anyway, guys, that is the video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Remember, everything here is education and entertainment purposes and utilizations only. You are grown or you should be. This channel's for nationals, not for everybody else. And if you want to be private, this is how these are the ways you do it. Go watch my videos before emailing me. Watch lots of them. Most of the answers are in there. Okay. If you do want to do a consult, you want the speed pass way, then yeah, do a consult. It's optional. I don't force anybody to do anything. All I know is we've been 99.99% successful across the board, multiple states. We must be doing something right. Must be doing something right if a if a judge in front of other lawyers and and uh, attorneys and whatever else asked me to join them, asked me if I was a lawyer. How many of you have had that happen? How many people have federal agents contacted you privately? Members of different societies, some including secret societies. How many of them? No. See, when you know what you're doing and you're smart and you're specialist in your area, people will reach out to you, whether it's for lawn, taxes, or whatever else. So we must be doing something right. But once again, this is all just education, entertainment, informational purposes only. You do your own due diligence, especially if you're getting your information from somebody else. I live this way. This isn't just, I don't, this, I, I live this life. I'm just sharing with you my experiences. Some people are out there to defraud you, to fool you. Some are agents, counter agents. Um, you know, some of them are threats, foreign and domestic. So be careful with information. I'll give you this. You will get into trouble doing certain things out there, especially if it's financial in nature. Never think the government is just going, or the states or whoever else, owe you money and just everything, all right? They have a duty. 
to perform. And yes, you do have some benefits that come in the form of financial services and other things, but there's no like secret whatever that's going to give you millions and millions of dollars and you can just speed past the police and you don't have to obey the laws. I've never said any of those stupid ass things on this channel and I won't because that's not what this is about. And if you're trying to skirt the law or whatever else, let me know. Because then I'm going to call the police and tell them you're just trying to do some shady stuff. Because that's not what we do here. So don't bring any of that BS my way. Don't try to help me get out of your court cases or whatever else when you've, you know, done something physically to harm somebody or a child or, you know, illicit images or any of that stuff. All right. Don't don't I don't do any of those at all. I will refund your money and whatever else. We don't do any of that here. We don't do that to you. All right, guys. Take care. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, summer is about halfway. Oh, you know, I don't even want to say the rest. But um, enjoy it. Take care of yourselves. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and the seminars are coming. We're almost there. So check out jamesclovett.com, blackslap32.com, or the bad or bad wolf unincorporated.com.